Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see in front of you, is two British 8th Army who fought in the desert. So today's going to be a painting video about how I have paint my bolt action desert forces, where I need 28mm desert forces for the British and Commonwealth. Now, one of the things I've got here to compare and contrast is the size difference between the bolt action warlord figure and the Perry miniature. I have looked at the sprues for both of them, showed off in another video, and after building them up and painting them, I've decided my army's going to be made of the Warlord Games miniatures. I quite like the chunkiness of them, and painting them was good fun. So anyway, stage one. What I would say is all the paints I've used today, Citadel Colour Paints, I will make a list of them in the notes for the video. So starting off, I have used the Zandra Dust Spray Paint, top and toe and then I've used Wraithbone which is a base paint to paint in all the where the flesh will be and then you see there I've not been terribly neat but that's okay because if I've not painted the bit yet it's okay because it'll get paint over it. I do like to start off with flesh first so it looks like I'm painting that a man. Next up is start blocking in some of the colours so I've used a colour called Thundia Brown on the boots and on the rifle. Then I've used Rekar Flesh on the scabbard for the bayonet, the rifle straps and the socks. I've done Rekar Flesh. The putties I've done Graveyard Earth. Now I've looked at some pictures afterwards and I probably would have been better off to be more accurate if I'd have done the socks with the Steel Legion and the putties with the Rekar Flesh. But there you go, every day is a, a learning date. Now I did choose to do the scabbard in Rakar flesh that's just stood out a bit more a lot of military uniforms are a lot of the same colors and i just thought it would just be a wee bit different and there you go spin around you can see the front next stage is blocking in some more colors so around the back here you could see i've added a bit of black template to the canteen and just a few bits on the scabbard there again the canteens probably wouldn't be black but again, I just did it so it just stood out a bit more. And if I spin them around, you see I've done some work. Just put down some basic metals on the rifle. And I've used Iron Hand Steel, which is a brighter base. Lead belt should also work at that. And a bit of Rakarth on the hilt. Um, yeah, the handle of the scabbard there. Next up, I've used Shade. Now I've put Shade on all the model. And I've used Agrax Earth Shade at this point everywhere but the skin and this will darken everything down and create a nice shade for the mo for the model okay now moving on i'm going to start painting the uniform here and what i've done is taken more gas bone and i've started painting on the uniform now this is one quarter more gas brown it hasn't quite got the coverage of one and the next stage i put a second layer on but you see where I've left some of the recesses, some of the creases in the uniform to really kind of make that detail stand out. The thing I've done here is blanket rolls. Traditionally, I paint rust grey to take the agrax and then I'll put a bit of rust grey around the edges just to step it out. So this is the miniature with the second coat of the Morgas Brown just to make the uniform bit more solid and stand out kind of see the differences there and you see how I've left the recesses in the miniature this helmet has got a hat on not a hat a net on it what I will do is just give that a light dry brush of Zandri dust there's one later on coming up that I would finish that off so what I've done now is started highlighting up all the other colours. So I'll spin this round on his back. You'll see the difference in the webbing. So I've taken a small brush and I've highlighted all the webbing with Zandri Dust. And that's also meant I've tidied up the uh, canteen there as well. A bit of dry brush of Rakaf around the socks, really bringing out the detail of the um, sculpt in there. Again, a bit of Steel Agent back on the putties. Tiny bit of Monfang Brown on the boots and on the front. I've added Monfang Brown to the rifle. Tiny touch of metal to make that stand out and a bit of Rakarth around the 
Uh, straps for the rifle. So that's my basic uniform done. Next up, I'm going to use a colour, and this has made my painting the skin really easy. And that is Gulliman Flesh Shade. Uh, it's contrast paint, I said it's shade, it's not, it's contrast paint. And that just apply that neat over all the all the skin. Now you sometimes get a bit patchy, so my next stage for the skin is I've taken Kizzler Flesh, but you could also use Cadian Flesh, and I've just used that to put it on the raised parts of the skin just to kind of pull it together. And next stage to finish off the basic painting is the eyes so i've left one black so what i'll do is paint in eshin gray then polar bridge flesh or any white would do but i like polar bridge flesh it's enough white i'll put one dot one dot and that's how i do all my eyes and actually from a distance it gives the look of an eye and once you get used to it, they don't look mad and staring. So next up comes the basin. So rather than do a, a totally yellow sand base inspired, I was watching a Czechoslovakian movie called Tobruk. And they've got some great vistas of the terrain around there, which is kind of, it is sandy, but it's got its tufts and it's dark and light. So I'll replicate that on my bases. So what I've got here is I've put sand on the base and I've painted it. This is dried bark. Okay, the whole base dried bark. Then over top of that, I've then dry brushed it with Zandri dust. And finally, with a wee touch of Scream and Skull just to break it up and make it lighter. The tufts I've got at the moment are quite green. I've been using them for my jungles. Hoping to get some sort of more washed out tufts, which I'm going to put on the on some of the bases as well. But there you go, that's my quick and simple 8th Army painting guide. I'm painting up about 80 of these fellas right now. So for me, getting a, a good looking, simple and quick painting guide was important. I paint armies for the tabletop. I'm never going to win any painting competitions, but... I'd be happy to hear about any of your hints and tips for nice, quick painted miniatures. I'll just finish going around so we can see all the stages again. And yeah, it's around, around these stages here. When I'm starting to block in the colours and highlighting, that's when we're starting to be a lot neater with everything. And you see there, this difference is wraith bone and then just the gully and flesh straight over it's been a game changer for doing skin you might have seen some of my mountain civil war painting guides i've used a lot of contrast paints for that as well and get round into doing some of these bases and there we go like i say i look forward to chatting to you and hearing your hints and tips and I hope you're having a great day doing some hobby and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.